You know how Samsung and TSMC have been in this never-ending race for chip supremacy? Well, for the longest time, it hasn't even felt like a race. More like Samsung sprinting uphill while TSMC casually glides ahead. But for the first time in years, things are getting spicy. Samsung might finally be lining up a comeback. And it all starts with something that could shake up the entire industry. Two nanometers. So here's the deal. Samsung's gearing up for a huge bump in two nanometer production next year. The first thing rolling out of the ovens is the Exynos 2600, landing in the second half of this year. And whether you love or hate Exynos, this one's important because it's Samsung's first proper two nanometer attempt, powering the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus in select regions. That alone is big, but it gets crazier. Samsung has already bagged a contract to build two nanometer crypto mining chips for MicroBT. That's like dipping their toes into another pool entirely. And then early 2026 is where the real shocker shows up. Samsung is reportedly going to manufacture the Snapdragon 8S Elite Gen 5, a tweaked version of Qualcomm's current top chip. If this actually happens, it would be the first time in ages Qualcomm let Samsung handle something this advanced. And guess which phone might flex it first? The Galaxy Z Flip 8, a foldable with a Samsung-built 2 nanometer Snapdragon. That's a plot twist. Halfway through 2026, another crypto mining chip goes out, this time for Kanan, the OGs who built the world's first ASIC Bitcoin miner, and late 2026 or early 2027. Samsung might be shipping a 2 nanometer AI chip straight to Tesla. Yup, Tesla. That one's expected to power full self-driving. Imagine Tesla's running on Samsung Silicon. That's a pretty wild shift. All this is part of a bigger push. Samsung wants 2 nanometer wafer output jumping from about 8,000 a month to roughly 21,000 by the end of next year. And they're not being subtle. They've reportedly slashed 2 nanometer prices by a third just to steal customers from TSMC. That's a straight up price war move. Now, while all of this is happening behind factory walls, Samsung's hardware roadmap is quietly leaking through internal software testing. And these model numbers give us early clues about next year's flagship lineup. The S series, getting refreshed. The foldables, still alive and kicking, but with a twist. Samsung is doubling down on both the Flip and Fold series, which pretty much confirms that foldables aren't going anywhere. But the real eyebrow razor is an FE version of the Z Flip, a cheaper foldable, something that pulls more people into the foldable world without forcing them to drop flagship money. And of course, the Z Fold isn't getting axed. Samsung still wants that big, premium, tablet-in-your-pocket category alive. So yeah, the next couple of years might be the most important for Samsung in a decade. If they nail two nanometer yields, snag more Qualcomm work, get Tesla on board, and push foldables into more price brackets, that gap with TSMC might finally start shrinking. Anyway, I'm curious what you think. Is Samsung actually turning things around or is this just another cycle of hype? Drop your take in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, stay sharp.